slow down, Grandfather. You're too old to keep up this pace. I've been digging for 70 years, Ivan. Slowing down will only prolong my suffering. Orin, don't. You won't survive doing the work of two. The prettiest girl in the world. I do the work of ten. No talking! The gods forbid it! What is it? Uh, hide it. Why aren't you working? No, 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 no! sacrificed his life for us. But why? I don't know. But whatever Hops was trying to tell us had something to do with this. <laughs> oh, 
it's a lie. If in the distant future someone hears these words, perhaps it is not too late. These dark corridors are not your true home. There is a world above, a magnificent universe to which you can return if you have the courage. He who possesses this sword possesses the power of truth. Find the blade and you will find your freedom. He's gone. He's gone. World above? Freedom? Freedom? Lies. All lies. But why would anyone lie about an upper world, Ramo? Ah! By believing the words of that demon you spit on the most sacred commandment. Never dig up. Up is hell. What if the commandments are wrong? What if there is a world beyond our own? By not trying to find it, we could spend the rest of eternity digging and dying when there... when there may be something else. What else could there be? I don't know. But on my grandfather's grave, I swear, if there's a world above, I will find it. Who's with me? No one's going with you. I'm turning you both into the Mind Masters for speaking out against the gods. Now, give me that evil thing. <laughs> I'm all right, Callie. If Ravo tells the Mind Masters, you will be killed, Orin. In that case, I might as well die trying to find the upper world. We'll go together, Elan. I'll go with you, too. You'll have to be with us in spirit, Callie. It's too dangerous for one as young as you. I'm not too young. You don't want me because I can't see. Don't leave me, Orin. I'll die without you. You'll do just fine. And Bella will look after you. But what if you... What if you don't come back? I'll come back, Callie. I promise. I love you, little digger. Thank <laughs> you. 
processing robots to unloading them to... Where are we? I don't know. only one other slave has known in the last 1,200 years. And like him, you will die with the secret. You might as well know the rest of the lie. Behold, the great god of my world. <laughs> Sword with no blade. Where did you get this? I'm afraid it won't be of any use to you now. Stop him! Watch out for the crystals! world above. I'll find it for you, Alon. Never mind me. Kill the boy. Never dig up. Up is hell. What have you got to tell me this time, old man? Is this your magnificent universe? Not a lie.
can kill you the same as I killed the other two. Stop! Bring me the magic object. Have it your way. How do you want to die? I bring. I bring. Good. Now wave it just beyond my right hand. Exactly ten seconds to tell me what you're doing in this swamp, or you'll be swimming with those two mandroids. What in the hell are you doing? Now start talking. I came from mine. Damn. I knew you were a smuggler. Where's your ship? Ship? Don't play dumb with me. Nobody takes crystals out on foot. Crystals? You know of the mine world? The what? The world. Where I came from. Where we mine the crystals. Who mines the crystals? We all do. At least I did until I came up here. Your tongue moves faster than a water snake's, kid. 
And everyone from here to the Glass Nebula knows that robots have done all the mining for the last thousand years. What's a robot? They cut the crap. Now I want the truth, and fast. Did you? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, well, thanks anyway. Now beat it, kid. I've got work to do. Please! I need your help! I promised Callie I'd come back for him. Listen, Water Snake. I saved you, you saved me. We're even. Now beat it! I beg your pardon. I wasn't talking to you, Arthur. Pumped up security. Any sign of that patrol ship yet? Arthur? Are you talking to me? Well, who the hell do you think I'm talking to? Well, why don't you make up your mind? And don't worry about the patrol. I'll let you know as soon as I spot it. Uh-huh. <laughs> get away from me, damn starfly. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> what are they? They're pests like you. What is it? The Pyramid Patrol ship will be at your present location in about 32.9 seconds. 30 seconds? Why the hell didn't you warn me sooner? I tried, but something was fouling my signal. Come on, there's a patrol coming. What's a patrol? Damn. But don't just sit there, Arthur. Slot those bastards. Shields down, he says. There won't be any shooting. <laughs> Where is he? He's not anywhere. He's the ship's computer. I wish you'd stop calling me your computer, Dag. It's so impersonal. After all, your body's just a machine made of flesh and blood. How would you like it if I went around calling you Meat Brain? Huh? Strap yourself in. Nice. Suit yourself. Take us out of here, Arthur. You could say please, you know. Snake is where I'm about to do my business. The largest rubidomite shipping complex on planet Trinia. Whoa! What the hell did we hit? Just the base security shield. Damn, I never fly low enough. Arriving at East Base, level 9. Prepare for tractor beam mooring. Sir. We've got a low altitude unscheduled entry coming in from the swamp. Sounds like mandroids. They're probably running out of body parts. The gunners will enjoy the target practice. General alert. All stations break for minimal low level attack. <laughs> Sighting frequencies are locking onto us, Dag. I hope you've got a good plan this time. Give him a light show, Arthur. 
Oh, not that again. The last time we tried decoy laser fire, I got my aft panels vaporized. Arthur. Oh. Heads up, kid. <laughs> It wouldn't work. What's happening? Just a little welcoming fire. Hang on. Atomic watchdog sitting right on the doorstep. Damn, we need more muscle. I've got to find a way to knock it out. There it is. Keep an eye on the kid, Arthur. Don't let him out of your sight. Well, I'm not a babysitter, you know. OK, guys, just the way we practiced it. Number one, you leave. Excuse me, sir. I'm number three. He's one. Never mind. Let's move it. how we can get through that door? Sorry, sir. I'm programmed for tactical, not engineering. Bargain robots. Damn. Arthur! Get off your butt and fly underneath that Markavian transport ship. And no back to That's good. Now open the upper cargo doors. This better work. Possible. You see, I'm programmed to respond only to... I said take us down! <laughs> Consider it done. The penalty for rubidomite smuggling is death. Oh. You! Ship if we can. No, I'll 
kill him first. Get him! Who the hell ordered this drill? Hey! Come on, kid! This is our ticket out of here! Let me go! Let me go! What a human has to be! Get us out of here, Arthur! Fast! It is him. The Kaka has returned. You'll never get away with this. Crystal smuggling is an interplanetary offense. And so is kidnapping. Stop that! You have no right to go crawling around inside me. Oh! It's against the treaty Me because I can't see. Don't leave me on. I'll die without you. If there's a world above, I'll find it for you alone. Arthur, huh? where the hell are the personality circuits on these G2 fembots? According to the internal schematics manual of the G2-class government service fembot, all personal characteristic circuits are located in her... Uh, in a... <laughs> You're definitely looking in the wrong place. Well, where are they? They're in her... posterior. You wouldn't dare. Help! 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 What? Dag? Why do you risk your life stealing crystals? Because, my little water snake, the tax collectors of this galaxy turn an honest worker into a slave. A bit of my crystals are the main source of fuel for the Bordigan fleet. There. That should do it. Hi. That's more like it. Has anyone ever told you that you're awfully cute for a meat body? Security ran a cross-check on the make of that space cruiser, along with a description of the pilot. His name is Dag Debrimi. Good. I'll take it from here. All units. Security code red. Name, Orin. Target is young, male, human. Carrying a golden hilt. Traveling in civilian service class ship Type H. Registered to Dag Debrimi. Use any means to locate. Once you have the hilt. The boy is to be vaporized. <laughs> Togo Togo, the thickest den of thieves this side of Bordegon. When are we going to Trinia? I've got to find the blade. Bad chance, Water Snake. I got my own business to take care of. Then let me out. I'll find my own way back. You'll walk, huh? 50 million miles to a vacuum? Stick around, Water Snake. That blade of yours may be right here. Let's have those landing lights on there. Keep an eye on the Star Chaser, Arthur. And if anyone goes near the cargo hold, you have my permission to blow them into stardust. Where are we going, Dag? Uh, I'd rather not tell you. It's a surprise. Well, this is where we part. I hope you find your talking blade. But what do I do? Where do I go? Figuring that out, my little water snake, is what life is all about. Two fifty, I don't have two fifty. Hey, you there with the two heads, have it getting those heads together and give me two fifty. No two fifty, no two fifty. All right, two twenty five, once two twenty five, twice sold. Zagark, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. T two, 
Where'd you get a government member? Never mind that. How much for it? No! On consignment? Don't touch me. 15% or whatever she brings. I'll be back in an hour. Don't waste your tears on me, honey. You'll rust. My friend, it has been ages. Not long enough, McGrib. Some men are honest. Some men are thieves. Only Dag de Brimi is both. What brings you to the slums of Toga Togo? Money. <laughs> what else? I've got a load of crystal hot off the pyramid. How much? 20 tons. Half a million and it's yours. For you, I pay special price. Two hundred thousand. Take it or leave it. Looks like I'm not the only thief in Toga Togo. There'll be a ship waiting to pick it up in the Vaji Desert at noon tomorrow. Oh, Dag, one of my nosy men thought he saw you with a young boy this evening. My girls do not excite you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunes, futures revealed, five starbacks. You are lost, yes? And are searching for something of great meaning. Yes. How did you know? How does the flower know to bloom? How do the stars know to shine? Can you tell me where I'll find the blade? Such is not an easy task. But I believe I can help you. Oh. Mm. The path to your goal is paved with danger. It is uncertain whether you have the strength to survive such a journey. Tell me, please. You will find what you are looking for in the darkest regions of the Nova Luna rainforest. Thank you. No, let me go. Don't. Silica? Please. Come on, honey. This won't hurt a bit. Hey, that's five starbacks. Please, I need your help. That'll be five starbacks in advance. All right, ladies and germs, next up for the bidding is this young 200-year-old Fembot, the perfect work slave for the most discerning of masters. We'll start the bidding at 500 Starbucks. 500, 500, or here, 500. 250! Ah, she's worth more than that junk. Togo, 400, 400, or here, 400. I've got to, to have her, Miso. She looks like she'd make a wonderful housemaid. Your father told me never to bring you here, miss. This isn't the best part of town, you know. How will I explain to him if you take home another robot? Silica. Orange! 400. 400. Wait, it's a mistake. She isn't a slave. Orin, help me. If you want a young man, you'll have to bid for her, or else I'll have you thrown out of here. 400. We got 400. Okay, come on, you out there with the 14 noses. You think with such a bargain, you'd be able to snip it out. Hold it me 450, 450, 450. 450. 500. 
hundred. We got a five hundred. Come on, all you people out there. Come on, five hundred for this wonderful sample of a fembot. Five fifty. Five fifty. We got a five fifty. Five fifty. Who'll make it six? Six hundred. Six hundred. We got six hundred. Six hundred. Who'll go six fifty? Six fifty. Do I hear six fifty? Six fifty. Six fifty. Seven. We got a seven. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Who? Seven hundred and fifty. Eight hundred. Eight, eight, eight hundred and fifty, eight hundred and fifty, eight hundred and fifty. One thousand. One, two thousand. Two thousand. I can't believe it. Two thousand, two thousand. It's just unbelievable. I can't believe I'm getting two thousand. Going once, going twice, sold. Yay! Well, how much do we get? I'm here at two thousand Starbucks. Two thousand? Who the hell bought it, the governor? No, this fine young gentleman. Water snake. They tried to take silica. I got her back for you. How would you like to pay for that? Starbucks or gold? What's a Starbuck? If, if you can't pay, then I own you. It's the law. Sorry, kid. It's the law. <sighs> Hold it, Zagork. You're some practical joker, Dag. For a while there, you almost had me fooled. Yeah. You two, follow them. Can you run as quickly as you screw things up, Water Snake? What? secure within two weeks. As soon as our forces return from Rhea and Horbonaut, we'll be ready for the final action. Major Tagami, what's the status of Dobrimi and the boy? Robot They've escaped our men in Togotogo, but the secret police have a lead on them. Do I have to program every robot myself? Send out a subfrequency order to all mechanicals in this sector. I want that boy found and destroyed at all costs. If I may, sir, why all the fuss over one boy? Twelve hundred years ago, there was just one. This time, there will be no mistakes. I will not fail. Nova Luna Rainforest? Forget it, kid. I haven't got enough time to make it to the Vargy Desert, let alone go on some wild goose chase to Nova But Luna. I gotta find the blade, I know. Don't you ever think of anything else? Like warp racing or girls? I think of my brother. And Alon. Alon? Oh, your girlfriend, huh? Why don't I take you to her after I'm done in the desert? She's... She's dead. Oh. Sorry, water snake. Zygon killed her. Ah, uh, now don't start that again.
You're late. Yeah, well, the Vagie's not exactly a sandbox. You have the crystal? You have the money? Okay, Arthur, blow the ballast. Sorry to dump and run. Just a moment. You are the one called Oren? He's worth a million Starbucks, dead or alive. Way overpriced. We could cut you in for a, a third. Nobody's life could be worth more than that. Not even yours. If we both don't walk out of here in the next few seconds, my ship is programmed to blow the crap out of this tent. Just a thought. Sand in the wind. Step lively, kid. I don't trust those guys as far as I can blast them. Why didn't you sell me, Dag? You could have got back the money I owe you. Those cutthroats would have peeled you like a grape. <laughs> Looks like you're my good luck charm, Water Snake. I didn't think we were going to get out of there alive. Now, where the hell did he come from? Will somebody get rid of that energized pest? He's following my instruments. What? What are you doing? No. I think it's trying to tell us something. Dag, I think those desert men gave us more than gold. Damn! It's a time bomb! Don't just stand there! Get rid of it! Bastards! Any second now. <laughs> I pay half my share to see the look on the big one's face when he's blown into cosmic dust. <laughs> <laughs> Take you to Nova Luna. Can the blind be made to see in your world, Dag? Sometimes. And it's not my world. I hope someday my little brother can see your world. I'm going back for him. As soon as I find the blade. Lunch time! What the hell? Ooh. I thought I told you to stay clear of the treetops, Arthur. We're nowhere near the treetops. That was just a warning shot. Reduce speed and prepare for boarding. Don't bother with the shields. That bot's about to get a laser enema. Ha! Dusted the little bugger. Nice going, Dag. You just fell for the oldest trick in the book. You're so smart, why didn't you warn me? Monsters, one and two, move in. They got the whole damn force after us. There's only one thing we can do. Good idea. I'll transmit our surrender. Nobody's surrendering. 
gonna play a little game of chicken with me. You're joking! Give me full retros, Arthur. I'll do no such thing. Now give it everything you got, Arthur. We gotta make it over those mountains. Dang! I'm hurt! Try to keep your systems functioning, Arthur. Just give me time to land this thing. Come on, Arthur. Just a few more seconds. I think I'm dying, Dag. <coughs> if there's a heaven for computers, right? I'll be thinking of you. Arthur? Arthur? Zygon will want this one for questioning. Gravity cycle. Oh, the boy from the auction. The Vortigon security has an all points on him. I'll radio them at once. You do, and you'll be a sanitation robot for the next 500 years. We'll take him back to the palace. Uh, but, miss. Now. <laughs> Are you all right? Elon? My name is Aviana. Who are you? Uh, I'm Oren. Where am I? You're in the most heavily guarded bedroom in this star system, so don't get any ideas. Ideas? Uh, about what? Judging by the ridiculous sums you spend on surplus fembots, I guess the police have good reason to be tracking you. Police? Dang. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. You better take it easy. Who was along? A friend. From the mines. The crystal mine? Oh, so you're a crystal runner. Had a friend on the inside, huh? Yes. But Dag said everyone knows there are no humans in the mines. How is it that you know about my people? Your people? What are you talking about? I dug my way up from the mine world. The hilt said that... Is this what you're looking for? Careful! I think the crash scrambled your brains. Humans in the mines. My father would never allow it. Who was your father? Why, Morbro, of course. Morbro? Supreme Governor of the Bordegon system. 
Don't tell me you've never heard of him. I'm getting sick and tired of never understanding. Where is the truth you promised? Uh. Oh. Oh. Shall I take him to the police now, miss? No! My planetary history lessons. What? Come on! Try to imagine a needle, the thickness of a human hair, slowly thrust between your eyes and penetrating your skull. I'd rather not if it's all the same to you. Ready, sir. Last chance, Mr. Debrimi. Where is the boy? I told you, we all crashed together. That was the last I saw. <laughs> Where is the boy? I don't know. I swear, I don't know. <laughs> Religious myth entry number 111.3. The Book of Kakan. I knew it was in here. Tell us about this. According to the Book of Kakan, 1,200 years ago, a human possessing a golden hilt was reported to have crushed a planetary dictatorship which spanned 52 solar systems. It's him! The face on the blade! 600 years later, another possessed of a bladeless sword freed Galaxy 13 from a tyrant by the name of Nexus, who attempted to enslave the entire population with electronic mind control. I must find the blade. Tell me where it is. Please. There is no record of the blade's continued existence since the defeat of Nexus. It was presumed lost after the final battle on Trinia. Trinia? But where on Trinia? There is no record of the Blade's continued existence since the defeat. I've got Nexus. to get back to Trinia. The hilt. The final battle on the humans in the mine. My father can help you. Begging your pardon, miss, but he is a wanted man. Your father would likely have him arrested and ask questions later. If my father can't help us, we'll just have to help ourselves. Mizo, fuel up the ship. We're going to Trinia. Sir, a non-scheduled craft just came out of subspace on arrival coordinates. Identity scan indicates it's a personal transport belonging to... Supreme Governor Morbro. Route it through. On alert, Zygon. Are you sure this will work? Trust me. This is a restricted area. No one may enter without prior permission from the Commissioner of Mining. Hmm. I think we better leave, miss. Show him the search warrant. I'm sorry. This is a restricted area. No one may enter without prior permission Mizzo, from shoot the Commissioner him. of Mining. But miss! I said shoot him! I hope you know what you're doing. So do I. Let me try. There must be an elevator to the mine around here somewhere. Zygon, what you told me. I don't have to tell him. He knows all about the humans in the mines. Oren! Put down the hilt, boy. The game is over. His story of the mine is just a clever diversion. We've already caught his partner. Debrimi, isn't it? He confessed everything about the crystal raid and your little escapade in the Vaji Desert. Oren, is it true? Murderer! <laughs> No, 
not just a robot. I am the robot. Nexus. The young Khan is perceptive for a human. I have been putting the pieces back together for over a thousand years. Missile, blast them! You'll never succeed, Zygon. It would take millions of robots, hundreds of years to take over the system. You are as blind as you are mortal, my dear. I not only have millions of robots, they have been slowly taking over for the last 12 centuries. Trinia, like dozens of other planets, was conquered by my forces. It's human population driven underground to mine the crystals, allowing me to reprogram thousands of your mining robots into soldiers. I swear I'll stop you. And if not me, then another. There is no stopping evolution. From the primordial ooze to man. From man to robot. The dinosaur went extinct, and so shall you. The Kakan stopped me last time. This time, you have only served to hasten the inevitable. Without this, you are but a weak piece of flesh. Tell me, Kaka, what is the secret of its power? Uh, I... I don't know. You know. And you will talk. Arthur? Where am I? Oh, dear. What have you done to me? I'm naked. Put my ship back on, you perverted fembot. I was only trying to help. Ungrateful son of a bitch. Hey, hey! My head's making enough crackle without your help. I thought you were dead. You thought right, Water Snake. Battalion Commander Argo to Flight Deck 9. Battalion Commander Argo to Flight Deck 9. There simply aren't enough robot troops in this sector to successfully take over the Vortigon system. To attack now would be futile, sir. We must strike now. It won't be long before Morbro realizes his daughter is missing and tracks her here. If he discovers what we're doing, he could mount a counteroffensive. I'm one solar system away from complete subjugation of intelligent, organic life. I will not fail this time. What is our present status? All ships are being armed with Xenon warheads. Fifteen attack battalions of 1,000 troops each are standing ready. The last five battle cruisers are still under construction. We'll have to make do without them. We have two things in our favor. Surprise, and something very dear to the Supreme Governor. He'll think twice before he destroys a warship with his daughter aboard. It must have been horrible slaving in the mine your entire life. It was horrible. But not as horrible as the thought of my people suffering at this very moment. Their entire world, one big lie. I failed them. I found a new world, but they'll never know it exists. All I had to do was find a stupid blade. And I failed. I'm sorry. If I hadn't been so impulsive, you might have succeeded. No. No, it wasn't your fault. Oh, you don't understand, Oren. I didn't take you back here because I wanted to help you for your people. I... I did it for me. Because I wanted to be with you. Because I... Lucky water snake, he hit you with the soft end. The attack force is ready, Zygon. Vortigon's planetary radar sources are being jammed. Battalion commanders are awaiting your orders. Thousands of years ago, on some obscure planet, a primitive chess computer was the first inorganic mind to beat man. In a few hours, I will be calling checkmate 
in the last such game the humans and their kind will ever play. water snake there's no way out Yes, I need it. Get me the hilt. Squadron 3, clear for Ionburg. Squadron Leader 3, all gets away. What's wrong with the screen? I'm not sure. That did it. You say something? Guard, I have something for you. What's going on, Water Snake? Get to Aviana. Hold it. You don't even know where she is. If you want to get out of here alive, follow me. Just have to do our best. Gee, why didn't I think of that? This is Admiral Kesu aboard the flagship, sir. All ships have cleared atmosphere, waiting your permission to join the fleet. Flagship squadron. Proceed with Ion. Defense Command discovers us, they'll be smoldering flesh. Secure for acceleration to hyperlight. Oh, great! We just went into light speed. Damn! Thing you know you'll be putting up curtains. 
Hit me, will you? I'll show you. <laughs> All ships reducing to sublight. ETA to Vortigon, one minute. All the 12 squadrons have left hyperspace, sir. Good. Put all squadrons on standby for warhead activation. flagship. All squadrons reduced to sublight, ready to deploy. Arm all warheads. This is Zygon. Sir, we have a problem. The flagship appears to have jettisoned its ground forces. Request instructions. Have you contacted them? We've tried, sir. There is no reply. All communications with the flagship appear to have been severed. Request further... <gasps> Two and three. Destroy the flagship! All other squadrons proceed to target area and launch missiles manually. Dag, do something! We've got to save Bordegar! Good idea. And while I'm doing that, you get on those gun controls. We'll never find anything to help Dag if you keep playing hide and seek down here. We won't make Toga Togo at all if we're spotted, you twit. Uh-oh. We're spotted. What? Oh, no! Turret. 
drifting. No operating manual. All squadrons now in position over target zones. Deploy the missile. Must get through to the main targeting computer. Somehow I've got to detonate those missiles before they're launched. Squadron 16 reporting. All missiles ready. Arm warhead. Dead! Warhead, arms and ready. They're launching! Damn! <laughs> Dag, it's trying to help us again. System. They'll never reach us in time. We've got to evacuate. No. He'll be coming for me next. But I'll be ready for him. Plot a course for Nova Luna. No. We're going back to Trinia. We just destroyed an entire fleet, but I'm not pressing my luck, kid. Wait, Dag. If it wasn't for Orn, we probably would be dead by now. We can't abandon him when he needs our help. I'll go back. You promised. Keep your shirt on, kid. They're home, all right. All the doors on this side are closed. Silica. They got a back door to this joint? There's an air vent in the processing area. Which one is the vent? Let's hope it's the open one. Dang! I'll just wait here. Get your butt in here. I know I'm going to regret this. like the end of the tunnel. down to the mine. Damn, look at all the crystals down there. This little adventure might turn out to be very profitable. Look, 
There's the mine elevator. Sorry, kid. You'll have to take a rain check on the mines. Going up. Units attack. All robots to your command post. This is not a drill. All robots to your command post. Squadrons to your battle stations. This is not a drill. Hang on. We've got company. Now what? You don't want to know. Just like old time, eh, water snake? That cannon's giving me a headache. Let's take it out. We don't have enough firepower. We must evacuate. Get back to your post! out here. Take care of her, Dag. Sure, kid. I knew it! He's okay. Let's hurry. It can't be! Hurry up! <gasps> Zygon! Aviana, come back! Oh, 
Ever since I can remember, there have been rumors. Rumors that there was another world. That long ago there was more than just my world. Some said it was a heaven, a paradise beyond imagination. Others said it was a hell, far worse than the world we know now. But an old man saw the truth beyond the sword and gave his life so that I might reach out beyond these caverns, reach out to the greater world above. Well, I have reached, and I have touched the stars. Don't listen to him. Zygon has warned of such false saviors. He's right. Believing this fool will only bring disaster. Oh, my God. I got it. He said what he wants you to believe. The boy is right. Zygon. I say what I want you to believe. Because I want you to believe the truth. Saigon. I did know the secret of the blade all along. No. Only it was so simple I couldn't even see it. No. Stay back. take over for you. Just relax out here. I'll get Dag out of this. It's okay, Silica. I, I can take it from here. Silica! Just take it easy. I've got that creep now. Silica, no! Not in the crystals! Oh, damn! What have I done?
Oh, oh Dad, I'm sorry. I'm so happy. What does it look like, Orin? Tell me! Welcome you as an honored member of the Kakar. You are free to leave your human form and come with us. Yes. Not yet. I'd like to stretch my legs for a few decades. The choice is yours. <laughs> 